on Sunday, March 17th at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the Robert Dale Corral and the Wilkes University Chamber Singers are going to be joining forces with the Bach Festival Orchestra and uh, a number of soloists to perform one of the great works in the Western canon, Bach's B minor mass. It's Bach's, I think, is Bach's masterpiece. It was written right near the end of his life, uh, compiled rather, right near the end of his life, um, when he was engaged in a lot of other sort of big compilation projects. He uh, wrote The Art of the Fugue, The Goldberg Variations, Musical Offering. These are, are big pieces that, that assemble a bunch of different styles uh, into one piece. And the, the, the B minor mass is sort of along in, or in the spirit of these things. So the B minor mass was one of these huge compilation projects where he combined a lot of the different styles that were available in church composition at the time. There was sort of Renaissance style of choral music, more of Baroque church st style, uh, stile antico, stile, stile moderno, uh, and then style imp uh, influenced by opera. So a lot of these these different things that were that were available to him, he, he combined them all. Um, but he also used the range that they gave him to convey the theology and the emotional content that's in the Mass. Um, so it covers a lot of territory um, and is incredibly powerful, uh, an incredibly powerful work. But there, there's some remarkable things about the piece. One of them, which is very striking, is that Bach never actually heard the whole work performed. Um, and it's this... We view it now as maybe his magnum opus, like his, his greatest work, and he never actually heard the whole piece performed. He heard it in sections, or parts of it. Um, and he worked at a, at a church, a Lutheran church, in the latter part of his career, and this is a Catholic mass. It could not be performed at his church that he worked at. So there's a lot of questions about why he did this thing. And I, I like to think that he was inspired by the great mass settings of composers in previous generations. And that he wanted to add his name to the list of people that had written great settings of the mass. So this is his great setting of the mass. It, it's just an absolutely stunning work of music. It's incredibly rewarding to study, to prepare, to perform, and for the audience to experience. is on March 17th, Sunday afternoon at 3 o'clock at St. Luke's Church in Springfield.